Now to breaking news we've been following since our 4 o'clock newscast. A massive apartment fire in the Galleria area. Not only were homes and possessions lost, but several firefighters were injured. Yeah, this happened at a complex on Green Ridge Drive, which is west of the Galleria, between Westheimer and Richmond. Our Brandon Walker is there live with the latest. And Brandon, this fire burned for hours. Yeah, Dominique, once those winds picked up easily some two hours, but take a look now. You can see that fire is out. The damage done. Four firefighters treated for smoke inhalation. Also, one resident as well. This is unbelievable. Jean Benoit documented it for himself. Flames ferocious. This fire's force was worrisome. I know my unit is affected and smoke damage for sure. As I was coming out, getting some personal belongings and the smoke damage, and you know, this is this is unbelievable. Unbelievable it was as residents of Green Ridge Place watched in awe as home burned. You guys get away. If you're by the fire, just get away. Cornisha Johnson recorded this cell phone if video the spreading fire, the warning the to way. flee just before the fire Not spread. The challenges we've faced so far is the layout of the structure, the water supply, and of course the wind. A tight courtyard, slim parking lot. Equipment too took a hit, at least while en route. HFD confirms Tower 18 seen here and Ladder 19 from the east end broke down while on the way. HFD tells us both apparatus were replaced on scene. It spread really quickly. 33 units affected all told. Neighbors watching, wondering. There was the mother who worried about the elevator her wheelchair-bound son has to use, not to mention their apartment, which was too close to the fire line for comfort. Everybody's fixing a loop. Everything. Then there were the helpless. Kirsty Vasquez wondered about her two dogs. All she can do is hope. I don't even care about the material things. It's our, our pets, their their family. Yeah, a lot of recovery and cleanup that needs to be done here. Another live look at the damage. Again, no sprinkler system, as we've told you in earlier newscasts, so that made fighting this one a challenge, too. The Red Cross helping the families who lived in those 33 units have a place to stay tonight. We are live near the Galleria on the southwest side. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Our hearts go out to him, Brandon. Thank you.